Hey, what's going on guys? So a couple weeks ago, I made a video talking about the stuttering issues that I've been experiencing with my RX 7900 XDX and 7800 X3D. The video is on the screen and I will link it below as well for context. So this is going to be sort of like a follow up video to that and also to address some responses that I got. Now, I could have probably done a little bit better job uh, explaining things on that video. So I wanted to do that here because some of the comments are under the impression that this was an Alan Wake 2 issue and it's not. We're actually going to look at five different games in this video. And some people are also saying that it's the Vcash, the X3D CPU that has issues. And that's nonsense. It's none of that. It's not an X3D issue because I'm experiencing the same things on a Ryzen 7700X. Speaking of which, I went and bought a brand new B650 board and a brand new kit of RAM to use with my 7700X to make it the new home for my 7900XTX. And I was experiencing the same issues. So I ended up returning what I bought and put the 7900XTX back in my AM4 PC, which works perfectly there. Okay. What I should have mentioned in my previous video though, is that the stuttering issues begin when I hit record with the AMD software. So using Relive. And that's a very important feature to me. Okay, so we're gonna look at a few other games and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my cell phone to record the screen before I hit record. And you will see how the stutters begin after hitting record. For the sake of transparency, I'm using the RX 7900 XTX, Sapphire Nitro Plus and the Ryzen 7800 X 3D. I'm recording the video on November 25th and we're going to take a look at the hardware here as well. We're using Windows 11 Pro and we're using the Ryzen 7 7800X3D with a Strix X670EA motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, 6000 megahertz C30, and the 7900XDX obviously with the latest 23.11.1 drivers. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be using my cell phone because I don't really have a nice camera or anything, but that's besides the point. I'm playing it on my Alienware 3440x1440, and this is Starfield with all the settings on Ultra. So it's kind of irrelevant. The resolution is irrelevant. I just need you to see the performance before I hit record with Radeon Relive. And as you can see here, I put up the FPS and 1% lows because 1% lows is a very important metric to determine stutters. Okay, as you can see here, our 1% lows are great, right? We're getting 105 FPS maxed out native 3440 by 1440. We have 88 FPS 1% lows. Now, let's see what happens when I hit record. Okay, so this is me hitting Control Shift E, which is the shortcut to begin recording using Relive. And we're going to go to the recorded footage here. And since I was also recording with my phone at the same time, I'll put that on the bottom so you can see it matching. Basically, as soon as I hit record, these annoying stutters begin and they're consistent. You can see it. Now our 1% lows are at 12 FPS, which is really, really bad. And I don't know what's causing this, but it's very consistent. In some games, it's not as consistent. And one of the games I'll show here on the list, this doesn't really happen to, but 95 99% of the games I've tried, it happens. It's very annoying, very noticeable. You can see it on the screen too. Um, as I move that, it, it just like hitches. It's almost like someone slapping your hand while you're playing uh, every couple of seconds. It's extremely annoying. That was a very big one there. Okay, so we're going to stop the recording now. There we go. I'm hitting Control Shift E and go back to the cells. You can see the recording saved. So now we're not recording using Relive anymore. And we're going to reset the 1% low metric in a second here. You get these kind of little stutters after recording as the system settles. But let's, so right there, I reset it back to normal. And you will see the 1% lows remain flat as they should be. Now, it is true that when you record using Relive or NVIDIA Shadowplay, you do lose a bit of performance, but you don't, you don't get a stuttery experience. Like this does not happen with my 5900X, only 7900XDX on my AM5. That's when it only happens. It's really strange. Okay, the next game will be Robocop Rogue City. And again, guys, I apologize for the poor video quality. I don't really have a very nice camera. Um, so I'm using just my cell phone here. But 
So we're gonna begin recording now and in this game it's actually the starters are not as bad and as they're not as consistent as they are in most games. So let's look at the actual recorded footage here and I'll overlay my cell phone footage which is being captured at the same time here. And this game is actually quite a bit better but it still happens. You've seen that. It's like if it's tiny little hitches you don't really feel those because VRR will smooth over those but these big ones that stick out like this are very noticeable very distracting very unfortunate so yeah I don't really know why this is happening I would really like you guys who have a 7000 Radeon and 7000 Ryzen try recording and see if you experience anything similar I would really love to know The next game is going to be Lords of the Fallen at 3440 by 1440 all ultra settings and let's take a look at the frame times here before we hit record and I know one of you is probably going to mention that I should be getting a capture card and I do plan on doing that I'm just waiting for some good HDMI 2.1 ones that I can use uh, there's been one that looks kind of interesting but I'm going to wait a little bit longer but that's besides the point. Um, let's see what happens now when we hit record so for now we've had pretty good 1% lows. Let's hit record and see what happens to the 1% lows. Let's reset the 1% lows now. Okay. And there's the first stutter. Yeah. These type of stutters in this game, guys, will get you killed. Easy. Uh, it's happened to me before, actually, when I try to make a video. Uh, so in this game they happen very consistently Now out of the five games that we're going to look at in this video three of those are Unreal Engine 2 Unreal Engine 5 one's Unreal Engine 4 the other one is Creation Engine 2 and then the other one is Forza Motorsport I forget which one that uses, but I know that's a custom engine an in-house engine. I should say uh, But yeah, so the stutters here very noticeable uh, Robocop was the only one that wasn't as bad at that little section that we tried but still there still happening so it doesn't seem to be like engine specific although it, that might play a role to some degree I don't know what's causing it but it is there look at the 1% lows they're very very low we'll go ahead and stop the recording now and see if our frame times settle down and you know, no, it, it is quite normal when you hit record and stop recording for there to be some stutters, you know, because of the saving and whatever happens. So we're going to reset the 1% lows. There we go. And just give it a, I don't know, like 20, 30 seconds. And you will see that the 1% lows remain very, very good. Right? Because tiny little hitches and stuff that's not really noticeable but something that is knocking your one percent lows to the ground and keeping them that way that's when it's a serious problem right and like i said i will say it again this only happens when i pair the 7900 xdx with a 7800 x3d and i've tried it on two different boards with two different cpus and two different kits of ram okay this does not happen with the 5900x so anyways let's move on to the next game Next game will be Forza Motorsport, again at 3440 by 1440 with all the settings maxed out. And we're going to examine the performance before we hit record. But I will tell you, since I've already recorded the footage, this game was the unusual one where I didn't get those stutters. So in this game, if every game performed like this game, I would be okay with it. Um, so we're going to hit record now and examine the recorded footage like we did previously. And um, yeah, so you do get some tiny little hitches here and there, but they're not bad. You know, like, like that's a tiny one. We're going to get another one that's a little bit bigger, but it's still not really noticeable. Like that one, that's not really noticeable. It's not that big. Uh, you will see the 1% lows are at 69. They're really, really good. It's, it's the big ones that happen consistently that knock your 1% lows down. Those are the ones you feel that ruin the game in experience. So, yeah. Before anyone says that it's a it's an engine, Unreal Engine thing, I don't think it is. Although it might play a role, like I said previously. it's I did I checked out Fort Solace, actually, on the 7800X 3D and 5900X. Using my Radeon 7900XTX. 
and that game it actually ran pretty good from what I remember it wasn't really stuttery so we got a little stutter there now I don't know sometimes in this game you do get a random stutter so I don't know if that was from the recording it could have been I don't know but I can tell you right now this game works much better than the others so not much to see here let's jump on the last game the last game is the invincible it's a brand new game that just came out this is actually an AMD sponsored title I believe it's Unreal Engine 4. It's sort of like a walking simulator, kind of like Fort Solace. It's actually a pretty cool game. Um, I do like these. I find them relaxing personally, but that's besides the point here. I'm just going to kind of do walk around a little bit here. And it is an Unreal Engine 4, so it can be prone to stuttering, right? But right now we're getting pretty good FPS. Again, 3440 maxed out settings. Uh, let's hit record and see what happens. Okay, so in this game, actually, it's not so bad at first, but then the annoying starters begin to pop up sort of randomly. Very noticeable like the previous one. So, I don't know, guys. It seems that it's only a couple games out of the dozens and dozens that I've tried that have that, that seem to run okay. Most don't. Most have issues. So, I don't really know why this is happening. I know it's not my GPU because I use it with the 5900X and it works perfectly fine. I use the 7800X 3D with my 4090 daily and record a ton of footage. No problem. I've used it with the 6800XD. No problem. 3080Ti. No problem. So, I don't know at this point if it's a relive AMD software thing that only seems to happen with, with this. But I don't know. I would really like to know if you do have a Radeon 7000 and Ryzen 7000. And I've said it a few times, but I would like to know if you're experiencing the same issues when you begin recording gameplay footage. Because I can see most people probably don't even record gameplay footage. So they may not even be aware that there's an issue, right? But due to the nature of my type of content that I make, and, you know, I it's very noticeable to me and it's something that I use all the time. Now, this probably wouldn't be an issue if I had a capture card, but... Not everybody has a capture card. And Radeon has introduced 120 FPS recording with their uh, preview drivers, which is really, really cool. Something that Nvidia doesn't do. So I don't know, I would like to use that. But anyway, guys, if you did find this uh, helpful in any way and you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye bye.